Hi there, welcome back to Persia. And we have border frictions already because of all of our claims and Persian cause. What should we do? Our ally Mazandran holds provinces that belong to us rightfully. And this is not the first time this was mentioned. I think it's the third time that we have conflicts with Mazandran, so perhaps a policy change is now in order. That's at least what is said by our Shazade and our Kano. They are not afraid of war, and this is this comes out sometimes. Ah, Bandarlangi has been converted. No unrest there anymore. Everything's good now. Mm. And we have one diplomatic relation too many. What a coincidence. And look at that. Ardabil has absolutely our our color too. Hmm. Maybe we should cut ties with Mazandran. Maybe that's something normal, something... Something that will happen now. We have the great realms of Persia. And they have a lot of provinces on which we have claims on. Unlike Sherman, they don't have provinces. And Adabil also doesn't have a province where we have a claim on, so... It's Mazandran. We must change our diplomacy. Nine neglect we have. It seems that the government that governs the least governs the best as far as those outside the capital are concerned. Our non-involvement has proved beneficial and the local economy is booming. Um, Tbilisi. Um, in Tb Tbilisi, yeah. Let's have a look. would be best. If it moves tax it, do they have high tax? They have good tax. Better than their production, even though they have dyes, which is pretty nice. Drafting, I'd say no. It moves tax it. And now, what would we like to make? Oh, look at that. That's the Gulf Coast. Could make that a state. That will come later. Shervan, Tabaristan, Imerati. Yeah, that's kind of... I mean, it might prove useful, so we'll do it. We'll make Imerati a state. Centralization effort will be there. And make all provinces cool. Could we get with mosques a lot more but we're a sinner we're not building mosques yeah, that's 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 the role play we should look at the marketplaces maybe tbilisi 
is now strong. And Kukuk. Yeah, later we'll we'll look at that. 0 0.9 is surely a, a good place to be in for this. We should also look at um, the institutions here. Printing press is coming. In a lot of countries now, we should have a look at this. Culture, institutions. The many jobs of a soldier, though. Prolonged peacetime and changes in the economy has led to many of our Celerite soldiers no longer considering the pensions we pay them sufficient. An increasing number of them have turned to other daily work, such as shopkeeping or craftsmanship, earning a better living in their city homes. While this can stimulate the local economy, it does mean that these troopers are no longer maintaining or practicing with the equipment we have provided them. In order to stop this trend, we would have to increase their pay substantially. Ah. Uh, what is that? Hmm. No, we're, we're like an economic guy. So we'll allow it for now. The Isfahan area gets economic stimulation. <laughs> really cool. For 10 years. We're losing a lot of professionalism though, which is not good at all, but what can you do? You must do something, right? Mm, some trade. Is Fahan now. If we were to build a truly Persian nation, must create a worthy and truly Persian capital. Isfahan is an old city, situated at the heart of the lands of Persia, and would fit our ambitions nicely. Talented architects from all over our lands stand ready to transform this old city into a proper symbol of our power. This is, however, going to be a both costly and time-consuming process. Isfahan? Really? Should we do that, Isfahan? I think Tabriz is much, much better, but... Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I mean, he's a master administrator. He should he would probably compare all he knows. So we have 30 development in Tabriz. That is counting for a lot. We have 13 taxes. It's a proud city. And Isfahan... Where was that? It was around here, I think. The Isfahan area. Yeah, that's a big state. Big uh, area, I mean. Only 13 development, four base mountains. It has paper, though. State maintenance, minus 10%. Hmm. I don't know, come on. Tabriz is quite nice. We love Tabriz, right? Go back to Isfahan, what is there? Is there even a local center of trade or something that could we, that could be cut? Yeah, there is a local center of trade, inter inland center of trade. Is that also in Tabriz? Yeah, it's also in Tabriz. Maybe that's too much. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Um, trade power of 19. How much do we have in Tabriz? 34. Hmm. I don't know. The remaking of Isfahan. Nah. Tabriz is the capital of this country. We're an administrator. We we have visions, but that is that does not belong to them. That's not our main vision. 
can make states, but mm, come on, one territory, that's not enough to make a state that is worthy. Quartermaster has died. The quartermasters always die. I wonder why. Do they eat their food? Ah, since we may never see their likes again. Will we never? Ah, we have a new quartermaster. We'll we'll see their likes again. Very nice. Whew. Now let's have a look at the institutions again. Printing press here. It's going there. Advancement efforts here and here. We should have um, some advancement efforts here as well. Also, um, I don't know. These are pretty new areas too. Partly only though. Yeah, let's let's go for progress. We must do something about Mazendran. We will... First we'll revoke military access. Then we'll dissolve the Alliance. And now, Pir Budak Muhammad, our advisor. Look at that. Advisor, high, advisor highly skilled in the study of nature and the physical world. One of our advisors, Pir Budak Muhammad, has received great support for their efforts in developing astronomical instruments and measuring and fixing the positions of stars. Her observations, yeah, it's a she. Wow, we have we have a female researcher in a Shiite country. Oh, she's Sunni even. My God, we are so tolerant. Her observations include a comprehensive study of the solar system and accurate positions of more than 777 fixed stars. Wow. Her efforts will be admired throughout the nation. Yes, absolutely. Concentrate on our nation. Pir Budak Muhammad. Great, just great. Could break the royal ties. This might be necessary. Yeah. It is as it is. It's okay. It was a golden time, but the time for Mazandran is over. What do we have? We can become the defender of the faith. Might be good. We are a sinner. We are not going to become the defender of the faith. Persian miniature painting. In Persian art, the prohibition of depicting the human figure never reached as far as the non-religious re literature and the Persian nobility have been comp commissioning illuminated manuscripts containing exquisite and very expensive miniature paintings for as long as anyone can remember. With the rebirth of the Persian Empire, the miniature painting industry is now booming. The works of the masters of the Tabriz school are attracting not only domestic buyers, but are now being exported all over the Islamic world. Okay, very nice. The miniatures. 
allied with Sherman and Ardaville. What would we get from that? The Ottomans would help us. <laughs> Risky stuff. We have normal diplomatic relations again, and we've got system. System, system, system. And next, we can annex them in two years. That's also okay. We can use a feudal theocracy action. Seize clerical holdings. Oh, we'll be able to do that again later on. We could invite minorities from abroad. Hmm. Or sanction a holy war. For now, we'll invite minorities from abroad. In the capital area, we'll get development cost goes down by 20%. Yeah, there we go. We'll do that. We're doing that. We're doing that. In Tabriz area. Let's see, we've got Koi. Koi is very neglected. Let's see what we have in Koi. We have wool giving friendly movement speed. Ah, that's terrible to improve. We have Ermia. What do we have in Ermia? Wine, local unrest goes down. That's kind of good. Could do that. Yeah, we have that, but we'll encourage development now additionally. Ermia. Hmm. I'll give them manpower. It's the best thing here. The tax is three. That's not bad. Give them some tax income. Yeah, we would we could improve Ermia. That's a good idea. First, we'll increase the administration, because we love that. Then we'll improve... Yeah, base production of wine is okay. Definitely. A little bit of military power invested would be good, probably. Let's bring this to 20. And then we'll also improve Koi. Koi shall be worthy of capital area. go some admin power That was some development, don't you think? Now we are very, very well developed. Let's see, we have got tons of state income here. And we'll change that at the, f at the first notice. Let's see. Let's look for workshops. Koi is there now, and Ermia. Capital area. We could look at oh, estates demand control of provinces, the Olima, hmm, because of the development increase we had, right? Um, courthouse, not really. Trade, yeah, we increase trade. 
Dear Lima wants something. Mm -hmm. What states do we have here? Farzistan would be something maybe to give to them. Autonomy of 31, and here we've got autonomy of uh, 31, 75. Wow. But we cannot give that out. Hmm. That's a pretty terrible place. Let's give it to the Lima, right? Uh, Look, Lunrist goes down. Maybe Bandalange. No, that's no no state. Darab. Hmm. It's a small local tax modifier. Yeah, why not Darab? It's okay. We must look for Mush now. Come on. Until mm, very soon, at the end of the year. Festivities. This year looks to be such a prosperous year that Pilbudak the First, as a gesture of goodwill, has decided to celebrate by arranging various festivities for the locals. Mm, now nah, we'll go for long term development via a master administrator, and that would also be good though, stability, but such nonsense, wasting money like that. All for the money, the sinner of money. And the reforms of Abbas the Great, or the reign of Shah Abbas the Great, marked the pinnacle of the Safavid dynasty. He developed a disciplined standing army, crushed the Uzbeks, and avenged himself on the Ottomans. In 1598, he chose, Is chose Isfahan as his new capital, a supporter of the arts. Especially architecture, he adorned Isfahan with some of the finest Islamic monuments in the world, he built a number of mosques, schools, bridges, and a major bazaar. During his reign, Persian craftsmen and artists excelled in creating fine silks, cloths, porcelain, metalwork, calligraphy, miniatures, and carpets. Hail Shahanshah Pirbudak I. Whoa, and now we can use another action. Could sanction a holy war? I don't know. Maybe we'll just build again, I'm not sure. Workshops are meh. Courthouses. Well, Shiraz is not bad. trade in Awaz and Hovyeze. Further our treasury. So much. So, so much. And maybe we'll further our claims to Ezrurum is another candidate. Suspicious documents. <laughs> well, we'll counter spy then. If these documents are so suspicious, then we'll send you home.
were importing iron. We strive to keep the Persian military strong, modern and domestically supported, but sometimes our priorities end up in conflict with each other. Lacking the rich iron mines of our neighbors, some of our grander plans for future military development will not be possible as soon as we might wish. Increasing imports is a tempting option, but relying on foreign support might compromise our trade policies, although a knife in the back of our neighbor would be all the more brilliantly insidious if made from their own steel. Baluchistan. Do we need something like that? No, we actually we have the mission to take them out. No, we, we need to rely on our own resources and we'll get the resources our own. Heart matters more than iron. Ruthlessly concentrating on ourselves. That's what we do. And so, oh, let's have a look. What's going on there? What are the Ottomans doing with their copious amounts of troops that are like impossible to believe? And we could maybe improve relations again. So look, how does this look? Austria is, is going, getting ready in Savoy and France is... Wow. Great Britain and France are battling it out here. Well, um, that's it. Thank you for watching. And happy gaming to you. Persia. The princes and Shahan Shahs of Persia. Wish you a good time. Until next time. And happy gaming.